what's up guys this is Foden here um, this is another tutorial on how to do first person sort of animations such as um, hand movements like a middle finger um, there's lots of various ones on um, floating around YouTube uh, they're green screens uh, for example uh, green screen animations and there's some lovely dinosaurs, that's nice isn't it? But yeah, then you have like sort of first person view hands, he sticks his middle finger up and whatever. So this is um, how you can do it in Cinema 4D. Um, this is how I do it. So like, you know, I'm not, I'm not an expert on this type of stuff. But this is all self-taught. So bear with me. <laughs> first of all you've got your model. Um, check the actual model. And then say you want to do your hands, so what I do is I select sort of the face tool, click the selection tool, and check, uncheck only select visible elements. And what I do is I delete the legs, everything apart from the arms basically, because we don't want all this getting in our way. So I just delete them, literally. Whack them down the middle. Make sure I get them. Delete the head. And then, sort of the top bits of the arms, we don't need these like sort of horn type things. Just get as much out as you can until you've got sort of reasonable looking arms. Doesn't matter if it's not perfect, but you know. Then what I do is I delete all the bones that I do not need, so I keep this, the spines. Uh, that'll do, just so it looks a bit more easier to work with than that. No, I'll just tidy this bit up because the top bit may interfere with it. So yeah, get your camera, check this little button, sort of take, put it into a like a face position. To make sure you can't see anything, so here's good. Just hit keyframe down, go into top view mode. Actually, you're not. That's a big camera. Here we go. Go into just all four, four modes, and you can go into this mode by clicking the mouse button, like the scroll mouse. I don't know what it is on um laptop. Oh, no, no, you can come to these, just click up onto this top right button. And you got, you know, select that one, select that one, and such. So yeah, what you want to do is you just want to click the camera, come back to the site sort of tool here, and you want to grab one of the sides and bring it out. As you can see on the left hand side, it sort of zooms out, and you want to get that as far zoomed out as you can. And you can check off this white box, so you can start editing. Now what I do is I set up IK chains for these hands. So if I go to the, my arms, so sort of what you want to do is you want to get the hand, forearm, and upper arm. So that will be the left upper arm. Excuse me, but okay, here we go. These three is the ones that I want. So you just select all them, go to character, commands, create IK chain. And I want to do that with the same with the right. I'm just deleting the ones that I don't need. Alright, here we go. Select them, commands, create IK chain. And what an IK chain does is if you select this and select this sort of movement tool, um, I'll just go into front mode. Actually, we need to go to back. But yours will probably be front. Mine's facing the other way, you see. You can start moving it like that, and it's sort of easier to make an like animations as. I just shove that in front of the, like, the camera here. Uh, zoom down. Bring that out a bit more. All right. If I check this, this is sort of like first-person view. You can move it further out, further in, like sort of top view, and you can go left to right. And then with your hand, you can rotate the hands. 
like that still and then you just keyframe simple animations I'm not gonna do an, an amazing animation but don't start moving your upper arms in that because you know that's just gonna muck up once you set the IK and don't click on this button come up here and you want if you want to move your left hand click on just this and you'd move this to as such so I don't know let's just uh, sort of do a wave I make him wave and so first of all just get his hand into sort of the right position I'm not gonna go through his fingers and that because this model's pretty fucked up with fingers it's gonna be really rough but yeah and I wanna come to his left hand and I wanna start him sort of here click keyframe and you will keyframe the IK chain so it'll come to about 20 there come back again maybe move this one a bit down and we're just gonna finish up by going across and down just for fun yeah it's a shit animation but yeah if I just play that through See that that, that and that that's sort of uh, basic, very basic animations that you can do. You can adjust fingers, add objects. Um, you know, you can bend his fingers so you can do like "fuck you" and all that shit like that. You can add sort of um, like a weapon. For this, you can have a sword. You could do sort of like um, a first-person fight scene, say. And you can punch him, and yeah, you can do um, many ideas. But that's what your imagination is for. If you've got an imagination. <laughs> so, hope this tutorial has helped. I know it's pretty basic, but you know, I'm I've, I've just started doing this stuff. So once again, I don't know much about it, but the more you practice, the better you'll get. So that's all you need to do. You're not going to be perfect first time. I mean, I wasn't. Like the video that I uploaded earlier about, well, I'm recording it. This video now. I don't know when I'm going to upload it, but the video I'm talking about is the uh, one of my first edits. That was shit bloody crap but you know you just need practice and then you would get better and better at it you know with the more experience you get so hope this has helped please like and comment thanks for everyone that's being active and that you you know I'm getting like loads of likes and comments well a lot more likes and comments than I usually did on my videos which is good because you know some people are actually realizing you know why I'm doing these videos and that not just to fucking you know Oh look, I done this. You know what some people do, and then they'd be an asshole about it and not tell you how to do it. Everything that I do, I will share how to do it. You know why not share? You know, don't be a fucking asshole about it and keep it to yourself. You know. So yeah, um, subscribe if you haven't. Tell everyone about my channel. Um, I really want to hit this to 1K subs again. Well, not again, but my previous editing channel went to 1K subs, and all the subs were inactive on me. So. That was when I was sheer editing, so it don't surprise me. So yeah, that would be a great help, and look out for the next tutorials. Peace.